Welcome to episode 34 of the A-Strings Podcast. You join us today in the ambiance of the electric room. Yes. Where we've had a little bit of an upgrade recently. Yeah. So we've changed the LED square lights that we had here. For We've been wanting to get spots here for a while, haven't we? Mm-hmm. Just to kind of give it a bit more of a showroom kind of feel. It's been on our list. Yeah. And um, we finally kind of took the plunge. And apart from the, the centre one above the Vox display, um, they're all kind of... They, they've worked out all right, I think. Haven't they? We've, so we've got yeah. about 10 banks of four um, sp- pointing onto the walls. We're experimenting with colours, aren't we? Because Yeah, like bulb strengths and, and warmth, like the warmth of the bulb and things mm. to see what works best. The warm ones look nice, but you lose a lot of like the lower level guitars tend to be a little bit dark. The, so. I th- yeah, because if you've been to the shop before, you know that we've got some black walls, we got some kind of ash walls. Is it ash the, the color? I think so, yeah. And the like the warmer ones on the on like the blonde looking wall looks a bit too yellow, mm-hmm. a little bit too sickly, I think. Mm-hmm. Whereas the whereas the white ones, the uh, the kind of more sterile looking ones, look really good. Whereas on the black um, wall, which is predominantly Fender and, and bass. Um, a mixture of the two looks quite nice, I think. Yeah, so I'm just looking over to where the Vinteras are, mm. and it just they just pop out, which, yeah. is, which is what you want. So, yeah. so we we have had the wall, the the ash coloured ones measured, haven't we, for different things for like um, yeah, maybe vinyl wraps, colouring them and into something else. Yeah, but, um, yeah. I'm not colouring them in. <laughs> <laughs> here's a here's a two B. Go gentle. Yeah. <laughs> so roll call. Adam's here. Tom's here. Andrew's here. We're well into, well, uh, time recording. It's the 22nd of September. Yes. Where's the year gone, guys? Well, we recorded episode 33 as we came back in, didn't we? So that would have been much. right at the beginning of July. Yeah, and that's just disappeared. Yeah. Absolutely disappeared. We've, If you've been following the social media side of things, you'd, you've seen a few coffee clubs. Mm-hmm. Um, there hasn't... I haven't done any quizzes since we've opened back yeah. up. Um, the last one of those was June, I think, wasn't it? So um, yeah. we've done um, coffee clubs, done plenty of Facebook Lives, and we've been doing our best. So back off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, it has been, you know, obviously, uh, Glenn has been back and forth helping, and Chris does his Saturday. Yeah. But it, it's been the three of us. Yeah, man the ship. So yeah, it's, um, it's, it's uh, and it's, yeah. Y- you try to avoid phrases that are used ad nauseum out there, like new normals and all this kind of thing. Mm. But there has been a brand new routine to to kind of uh, just get our heads around. Yeah, you know, including uh, different opening hours. So yeah. we're nine thirty till five thirty now, um, and locked doors, which has basically meant that the three three of us have been able to kind of go off into different areas of the shop we, and get on with things and it's um we've been we've been absolutely you know we haven't stopped really have we with with different things yeah mainly down to the um we've got a new website and till system that is a, not too far off from uh, being launched i think we're going to Tentatively, I think we're looking at the first of October. Yes, you know, it, we're kind of testing things now and filling in gaps and all that kind of thing. And yeah, we've had to learn a whole new kind of skill set. Yeah, stay tuned later for how you can become a beta tester. Yes, with a special discount code just for you, <laughs> um, just so we can we can have fresh eyes on it and see, and yeah. see what we might have missed and what could be improved before we uh, do go properly live so that'll be later on we'll tell you about that after yeah 
Although we could just repeat that. We just copy and paste that to save the... <laughs> just add a discount code. The, yeah. Um, so uh, there's that. You know, we've been dealing with a lot of... Uh, a lot of new stock coming. Yes. Which, yeah, it, it feels like there's more activity this side of uh, the the kind of lockdown period than there was um, before it, I think, you know. But um, so there's been a lot of adding new things, ordering new things. Customers coming in the shop have been using their time a, a little bit more preciously. I don't know, in as much as when they've been coming in, they've come in with... You know, we we've got um, you know number of regulars that you know come in and you know they they want to see what's going on, on yeah. a fortnightly basis or whatever, just see what's new. But um, we've had a lot of people still kind of I don't want to using the word stress kind of as negative in, um, connotations, but they've been um, they've not wanted to come and be kind of turned away so they've been calling beforehand to make sure that yeah, they can come in right. and when they have been coming in they've come with a, a definite kind of idea and yeah. you know just the first two weeks of July were like as busy as any Christmas period that I can remember being here it was just mad the second two weeks of July felt like the second two weeks of July which yeah. was quiet and then it kind of picked up towards the end of the month August was just a very very good steady month and you know you get that far into things reopening back up and you start getting a little bit of confidence thinking, okay, maybe this is how things are kind of panning out and this is how people are going to be, um, you know, people aren't going out as much so, you know, they want to, um, you know, get the gear and all that kind of thing. But September is kind of, it's been a damp squid. <laughs> damp squid. Uh, it, it's, it's kind of been a bit of a kind of deflated kind of... <laughs> Yeah, hasn't it? Wet crab. Well, yeah. Um, basically, uh, I, I can completely understand the reasons why it's gone quiet in as much as routine is back. You know, kids yeah. are going back to school. Mm -hmm. um, you've got um, people going back to work now because the kids are back to school. And yet, you know, let's like say we're the 22nd of um, September today, so there's been um, Boris has announced today on TV that um, pubs are going to shut at 10 o'clock. I yes. don't see what that extra hour is really going to save anything. But um, You just drink quicker. Yeah. Um, and they say that, you know, all the, you know, everyone has to wear masks, including retail uh, workers and all the rest of it. And, you know, fully expect this to happen, to go on for the next six months. So that's March, you okay. know. And so all of a sudden we're talking in, you know, that's a year dominated by, you know, by coronavirus, and um, you know, so I think the people are not, you know, they're not home bored like they were during the first lockdown. No, that's right. And so, you know, they, um, you know, there's, there's routine that's kind of setting back in. You know, there's, there's hard times out there to come, there's hard times people are going through now, and mm -hmm. you know, it. it you know, we're not having, I don't think anybody's having the easiest of time. You know, if you're a, a retailer, unless you're, you know, a garden centre or a supermarket, I think that everyone else is, uh, you know, having to get used to new route, get used to new ways of trading and, you know, a new level of business kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, you know, I've been to Cardiff, I went to Cardiff once about two weeks ago um, at a um, pick up my my laptop was broken and I went in to uh, drop it off and collect it back up and Cardiff was dead yeah really dead yeah you know the um driving in was not the normal amount of traffic it's certainly a bit less but then when you went wandering around you know to you know went to St David's 2 and that kind of thing and first off the amount of shops that have closed it's really grim but mm. secondly it just people aren't um they don't seem to be out in force spending. You know? Yeah, it's whether it's that f fear of the um, crowdedness of put all potential mm -hmm. crowdedness of of a city centre. Yeah, uh, but yeah, you are you know you are right. And so you know, be, with being told what we've been told today. So, Ron the Cuntaff, which is where we're based, um, we went to lockdown, or, or you know the new lockdown kind of uh, regime. 
some, uh, Thursday last week. Yes. Uh, by which point, Kafili had already been locked down for a week. And as of tonight, oh, no, sorry, as of Thursday, not tonight, on Tuesday, I think it's tonight at 6 p.m. Yeah. Um, 6 p.m., you've got Bregen, Newport, Merthyr, and. Blind and Gwent on there? Blind and Gwent, yeah, that are going to be uh, locked down as well. So if you're in Cardiff, yeah, well, you're stuck. It's it, you exit exit via the bay. I was I was <laughs> I was talking to Leighton from um from uh, music shop Neath um, earlier on today, and I said it's you know in the m- image in my mind is kind of like the beginning of Dad's Army where you yeah. got the kind of you know the Nazi flags kind of you know pushing the Union Jack towards the water kind of thing and um uh, yeah. yeah that's not to say that I'm you know a disclaimer. I'm not likening Ron yeah. kind of any of the boroughs or any of the lockdown boroughs to Nazi Germany. No, but yeah, I'm, I'm sure if we tried hard enough, there'd be some similar. Oh yeah, you could you could find a couple of yeah. people. So um, yeah, let's move on. Um, but yeah, it's only a matter of time until Cardiff is gonna um, is gonna have, have the same have the same thing, and then you know, all of a sudden, you know. It, that doesn't help the retailers there, does it? You know, it's um, no, no. I think there was I, someone was talking yesterday, and they said that whether Cardiff is sort of the, whether they're holding off on locking Cardiff down because it's kind of retail center, absolutely for everything. But also, you know, I think that you know the amount of pe- they're already going to be struggling because the amount of people who will travel from Traveling, yeah. You know, from outside of South Glamorgan or, or wherever they call it now, is going to, um, you know, the fact that they can't get there. Yeah, puts them in the same boat as everyone else. Mm-hmm. You know, it's um, and also, you know, if if Cardiff's not locked down, it, it's almost like they haven't got to be if you think about it, because they're not allowed to travel into any of the lockdown areas, no. and everyone surrounding them is locked down. Yeah, so they can't. So basically, they are no, technically. What they can down. do, they can take the Elfrecrum ferry from Penarth over to. Uh, yeah, Western yeah, is it? to Western, yeah, yeah. and um, see how you get on there. But apart from that, you're not allowed. Um, they're not allowed out. So basically, they are locked down. Aren't they? Yeah, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, Cardiff. Yeah. A strings decided. You heard it here first. <laughs> so if all the um, shops are going to be quiet up to Christmas, mm. it's going to be a lot of deliveries. Yeah. Oh, you can only imagine because you know the. Um, the delivery drivers that come here have, have said since April that it's been like Black Friday every single day, and then it got busier. And yeah. so, can you imagine? As soon as so, with this new system that we're um, we're about to kind of uh, get completely on board with, they've started sending through now. So, you know, about a day ago, so twenty first of September, they started sending through um, apps that we can download for the website, and also just things to think about and get ready for mm-hmm. what they call it um bfcm which is black friday cyber monday right yeah so which... apps that will kind of <laughs> <laughs> sounds yeah i was sounds gonna very say suspect, isn't it? i was gonna say there's some that um it's not like cfnm is it <laughs> or asmr oh yeah yeah we we said we're gonna... talking about <laughs> <laughs> so, so they, so what are they? The apps that sort of will generate deals for us, and I don't know what it is, but but basically, it's um, you know, yeah, I, I think that it's just kind of marketing tools for the website, and you know, to you know, it's not going to certainly not this year. I can't see it really working for us that well because um, it's quite intelligent. This new system whereby it looks at stock that has been around that hasn't moved, and so yeah. because everything is new, it's only been on there for month and it's still being yeah. added um it's not really going to have a good indication with regards to no. what strings to kind of put in the bargain bucket kind of thing yeah yeah you know? well interestingly as we're working on the system so today today i went onto the dashboard and it said these are your most viewed products of the last 14 days mm. and it's just where we've been going on and testing things yeah so like t-shirts come up a lot because we have like high inventory of them mm. so we'll go on to test like inventory levels and things so already it's given us kind of what's being viewed and what's being looked at and things so For, yeah so from our point of view hopefully it'll you know the th- it's very difficult with a guitar store a guitar shop because you know if you've got any other retailer like a vape shop or if we're looking at you know a clothes shop 
Um, you know, you've got your flavours or you've got your clothes, clothes you've got your sizes and all that kind yeah. of thing. And, you know, if you sell, you know, blue denim jeans, um, size 34, waist 32 leg or whatever, and they're your most popular ones, you'll know to buy more of those. Everything is speculative in a guitar shop because, you know, apart from your greatest hits, which are, you know, your 120, 130 quid electrics, you know, like the Mustangs or yeah. the, the Bullets or things like the Affinities or just... You know, certainly for shops our size, you know, apart from things like that or maybe strings, um, everything else is, oh, that looks nice. I think that might go well. Kind yeah, of thing. it is. And, you know, we're, because we're of a limited size and capacity, um, we've got our greatest hits, as we call them. But mm -hmm. apart from that, you know, if we've had a lot of, if we've had plenty sunburst, PRS is in recently. Well, next ones we go for, we'll make sure we got a bit of colour to make sure yeah. that people know that there's new stock coming through and there's that, you know. It, so, um, you know, I, I think it's going to serve us very well for things like strings and picks and cables and all that kind of thing and the things that we kind of naturally run out of but we don't realise how many we actually kind of yeah. sell on a, on a weekly or monthly basis. But when it comes to the guitars, it, we got to stay disciplined with regards to not doing exactly what the what it tells us. Yeah. Because um otherwise you're just gonna have the same stuff coming through all the time. Yeah, exactly. And it's always you know, it's always nice to see different on the wall. And even if we have had stuff that, you know, has been around for a little while, you know, it's yeah. It's good to set it kind of even just move things around just yeah. to freshen up the the look of the you know, the look as you walk in and Yeah. Full for, for people. But then yeah. we see it every day. So it is very uh, it is very difficult, but I remember walking, you know, going into into Gamlin's, uh, you know, when I was younger, and there'd be guitars there that you you know you'd be able to say, oh, you know, you'd be able to remember yeah. what was where on the wall, and some stuff would still be there and still be there. So it's, you know, even just shaking it up and moving things around gives you the impression that stuff is yeah, yeah, absolutely. So around. I guess that brings us nicely on to shop news. Mm, this shop news is fresh. Speaking of fresh, we all have to wear masks now. Oh, my breath. What an eye opener. I know. <laughs> Honestly, it. Uh, if, if, so it's not just. Oh, no, no, no. Specifically, no. talking about my breath. Yeah, it's yours. You've been smelling my masks after. <laughs> my disused masks. <laughs> <laughs> Your masks, yeah. <laughs> and I'm selling them on eBay afterwards. Oh. Yeah, yeah it was. It was. It was what quite. That's the thing in prison at the moment. What's that? I don't know. Pretty ladies selling their. Um, this use masks probably so <laughs> <laughs> so anyway so yeah it's uh, quite the eye opener and uh, to everyone that comes in you are welcome that we're wearing masks yeah I know Yeah, if what I'd say is that if our breath was that bad before why don't you just tell us <laughs> 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 um, but it's like it's that whole conversation of like buying someone like antiperspirant and shower gel for Christmas, and it's like <laughs> take the hint. Yeah. It's like at least now, you know, we can we can do this, and we can we've yeah. There's a really famous actor. Um, did Dallas Buyers Club? All oh, right, um, Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, he doesn't uh, apparently. I don't want this to be kind of slanderous or um, slanders written word is it or I can't remember. But anyway, um, apparently he doesn't wear. Or he didn't wear for a long time any kind of deodorant or, or wash, and um, co-actors on set used to kind of retch in his um, in his presence. No way! No, I didn't know that. My uh, my dad's friend had really bad bo, and my dad bought him some spray for Christmas. Yeah. And Boxing Day came round with a, a load of deodorants and said, uh, "Everyone's bought me these, but uh, I don't wear them. <laughs> <laughs> you want them?" <laughs> Oh man! So uh, yeah, it's you know they they reckon I I don't know how we've got onto bo but basically basically they reckon that um if we all it was if we didn't have external kind of um influences with regard you know if we didn't use deodorant and if we didn't have processed foods and all that kind of thing that um influenced the way that our Sweat BO smells. smelled. Because yeah, yeah. um, BO, 
you get nice odors, you know. So, it, it, but if you didn't have, um, you know, all the um, you know, rubbish going into you that influence that smell, it, it's like um, attraction between male and female would be a lot more kind of. Th- th- there's, I don't know, there's something in regards to that. I don't know whether it's done to pheromones or something like that, whether those things are, are masked because of. Well, like a, a natural sweat smell yeah. is quite nice, but it's when it's like yeah, it's the yeah, it's, it's when you've had, yeah, it's when you've had something um <laughs> yeah, it's when you've had something really nasty to eat the day before that it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is meant to be shop news, and we've just spent um, two and a half minutes to talking about. But that's why you get on the A Strings Guitar Shop podcast. I know you don't always get it's Guitar Shop podcast stuff. You get other things. We haven't mentioned the toilet either. <laughs> Not today. Episode thirty-five. We'll mention something there. Yeah. Oh, let's 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 move it on for, for everyone. Come on, guys. Come on. So, well, just this last two days, let's talk about what we've had. In we've had a, um, we've had more more marshals than the. Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't I have no army knowledge whatsoever. <laughs> I'm trying to think of uh, a funny thing. Yeah, we've had a lot of marshals. We've had DSL ones, fives, twenties, forties, code twenty fives, MG tens. As far as the eye can see, MG ten. Uh, yeah, platter of MG tens um, and some little um, the micro little micros and yeah. all the rest. Of it. So um, marshals back up and running because we've literally had no marshal for mm. three months. You know, all that stuff sold over lockdown. We had a nice Black Star delivery last week, I think. Yeah, some with, tens, some twenties. Yeah, superflies, superflies, which are amazing. Those superflies in in their class and and price range, there's nothing better. I don't think you bought a an extension cap to go with yours. Yeah, recently. So I haven't I haven't tried it yet. Right. Um, so it didn't realize that it's an it's an active cab. So it's a power, You need power for the cab. Which is it doesn't power from the Superfly? No, it's just an XLR from the Superfly. It's XLRs so it's, um, can phantom power though, can't they? Because they got the third. Um... Yeah, but I think it's still battery or DC. Have you tried it? I haven't even. No, I haven't even. I haven't even opened it yet. Mm-hmm. But um, it doubles. Obviously, doubles the wattage from twelve to twenty-four, and gives you the stereo sound, mm-hmm. which is great. Um, and if you're running uh, audio through it, you can't with the Bluetooth. It doesn't, but with um, as far as I know, but with the auxiliary in, it it creates the stereo then. Does it? Uh, the sound for that, but yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I've used it as the the single, the standalone. Um, uh, yeah, and they are they are brilliant. They're, they're really good. Did you uh, use those when you were doing your performances over lockdown? No, so everything there was the Acoustasonic straight into just DI Logic, in. right? Um, and it was a mic into Logic, and then I had to feed that out to because program. I believe. Steve was using them, wasn't he, for his? Um, for Steve's using, but you've got a. There's no TI out on them or anything. You've got. You'd have to mic it up. Right. Okay. Yeah. But um, but I haven't tried that yet. We should mm. try that. But well, we're gonna we're gonna take it somewhere, aren't we? Yeah. We're gonna we, we got a plan to. <laughs> okay. Go and because that one obviously wasn't out when we did the buskin video. We go up the mountain. We go up the mountain. We are. Yeah. So um. Yeah. Brilliant. Do it. And Do it a before bit it gets a, too cold. Well, actually, it's getting cold from today. Have a bit of a sing song, yeah. Or oh, we could do a wintry one. Do it on wrapped puff, up. Do puff it, a jacket on. Do it your, up on the your little Russian hat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> with his with Good the cloth, for a band, clothiest, your little Russian hat. Yeah. Um. So uh, that that stuff we've had um, a lot of new Gretsch in, it's which really I guess nice Gretsch, if if you follow the Instagram or uh, Facebook lives and all the rest of it, this is kind of going over a little bit of covered ground, but um. Gretsch, we had a, a very fun, you know, strange day about a month ago, whereby we had a conversation with somebody about um, a Gretsch we had in stock. I think it was you and me working with it, Tom. Um, I was talking to him about a Gretsch, and uh, they were asking what availability was like going towards Christmas. And we said, listen, you know, there is there's no kind of sales um, speak with regards to this. If you see something you like, should put a deposit on it, and we'll always try and get. If we'll put another one on order anyway, but just stock running up to Christmas is getting, you know, it's it's kind of sparse anyway. Yeah. But run towards Christmas, you know, there really is, you know, blank spaces on the expected um, shipment um, uh, list that we get through. So um, 
had that conversation with somebody, with somebody who put a deposit down on one. Somebody was overhearing that and they said, right, so how about that one then? We said, right, well, that one's a limited edition, so that's the last one anyway. So they put a deposit down on that one. And then we had a third person say, I just heard you say about limited. Mm-hmm. So we sold three Gretch, Gretches within a um, within a few hours, which... Yeah. Um, and given, that, given, and that, was a, on, that was on a Gretch week as well, wasn't it? So yeah, exactly. And we'd sold a, a few others um, that week. I think, you know, we did... For, you know, at least half a dozen, maybe you know, mm. seven or eight of them over the course of a week, which for us, for us, you know, that's really good going. So, um, the Gretsch wall was bare, wasn't it? It was yeah, terrible. And so, um, Mark came in. Uh, he's the only rep I think that's really visited us, apart from Bob. Yes. Um, he um popped in, um, and we put together a mammoth order, um, just basically speculative as i said you yeah. know because you know the not necessarily orders for things but things that we knew that we'd want and just the, with the way things are going we need to be on the list otherwise we haven't got them so we've had quite a bit of it through including a white rat rod which we should get a black one in at the same time shouldn't we yeah because they're so stunning you know individually you can only imagine how good they'll photograph and everything Next to each other. I much prefer the black one. Do you? Yeah. So we got the white one in at the moment, and the you can tell a rat rod from anything else. But first off, it's got these really sinister looking um, pickups. <laughs> it's kind of like the um, yeah. I, I'm trying to think. Of th- Howl from 2001. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it, it's it's a um, yeah. It's like the red eyes of the Terminator or whatever. You know, they're really kind of nasty looking pickups. Uh, but it's, they got matte finishes to them and everything. And um, we had a black one in before, so we th- said, let's get a white one in, swap it around a bit. Um, we've had an absolutely stunning centre block walnut. Is it walnut? Uh, Imperial stain, this is. Right. But it's, yeah, it's kind of similar to a walnut. Yeah. yeah, you know, if if you're after a Beatles looking um, machine, that's it. Um, Snowcrest white double cut came in. Yeah. Today, we've had the um, streamline double cut. Um, centre block junior limited edition yes limited in, edition yeah in black yeah okay yes yeah it's the same line as the Riviera blue yeah so it's just the yeah like a matte black of that which is cool uh, we've had a couple more streamliners come in we've got the big the big hollow body yeah uh, that's in phantom I like, metallic I like that colour the yeah, finish phantom that metallic nice, yeah. phantom metallic is it yeah and some of the streamliner Jets, yeah, which are really cool. Three hundred, you know, three hundred, three hundred five. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of covers Gretsch. Um, it's working around. We've had a lot of bases this last yeah. few. Yeah, um, last couple of months. It's much healthier in, in that little corner now. Yeah, um, one, uh, probably the nicest one of the lot coming today. Yeah. I, I think you think that certainly. Yeah, amazing. Limited edition Japanese black paisley uh, base, bought in for a. Um, somebody I know, who, um, Small World. Basically, um, the chap that is going to um, had a friend in Facebook. Uh, a f- somebody I grew up with from the age of three. Um, went to nursery um, with um, this girl, Rebecca, and went through school together. It turned out her um, her cousin and my cousin um, got married, so we were at the same wedding when we were, you know, 10, 11 years old. And then we were... Friend, we were in the same year throughout school and yeah. been to other weddings since and all the rest of it. And we've known each other, never been, we've never been in the same circles of friends, but we still kind of, um, you know, always knew each other. Well, when I put a, a plea on Facebook last year saying, guys, please help, you know, we've been taken down again, we don't know what's going on, help us. Hmm. Um, she, uh, Rebecca, she's she works for like, I think she works for Fox Studios now, but she's been PA to uh, Richard Attenborough. Oh yeah. Um, she's done very, very well for herself. You know, worked in you know New York and all these. But she's got contacts, and she put me in touch with um, this chap who's got, um, buying the the base. And um, turns out he knows Andy Lewis from Barnes and Mullins really well. Right. And uh, anyway, so um, he tried helping our cause. Obviously, we didn't kind of get anywhere, but. Um, yeah, he got in touch a little while ago and um, said, have you got any of these coming in? And there was, I think, Sean mentioned Navis one, and that was back in July, and it's arrived now. And it's, yeah, 
stunning in it. Yeah. So there's already photos on our Instagram. So if you want to go over to that, getting a lot of love on Instagram. Is it? Yes. A lot of love. It's getting a lot. The other amazing limited piece that we had in today mm. is the American original 50s Telecaster. Okay. In white blonde with gold hardware. Which isn't a million miles away from uh, my most recent purchase, which is yes. a 50, but 50s with a rosewood neck. And not, That's right. and not the gold. But um, similar weight. Yeah, it's kind of, it reminds me of the light ash telly they did a few years ago. Yeah. So that kind of really sort of translucent blonde with the gold hardware. We're, we're looking at it at the moment. So if you can, if the sound changes because our heads are... It's because we're all staring tinted. at it in awe. But it's it's a weird one in as much as the gold is going to sell it or not to the person. Yeah, you know, yeah in as completely. Much as it's, it's a classic guitar and, you know, it's... It's a fifties Telecaster, and so I think that it's going to whet the appetite of you know a lot of people who are after that kind of thing. Mm. But um, the gold hardware will either be I've got to have it, or yeah. absolutely not. Yeah. So we got the the um, younger brother of, or sister, whatever, of that coming in, which is the fifties um, Stratocaster. Mm-hmm. So they're going to be. Um, they're like a matched kind of. Um, so the same of, same color and, exactly and gold same. hardware. Do you know when that's coming in? Next month. They they're ordered at the same time. But Can we try not to sell this one? To them? <laughs> <laughs> Just to take a photo. Yeah. <laughs> if we don't know, if we don't mind taking a you know a wage break for a few um, weeks, and yeah, not a problem. <laughs> but you are more than welcome to come and try it out if you are interested. Yeah. We got the uh, again. We've got um, something that is people either love it or not. Uh, we've got the um, the ashtray cover over it as well. It looks beautiful, especially with the lights as they are now. You know, yeah. it, it shines on it, and it's it's a stunner. But um, you know, it's we should. I wonder whether we should get some Optima Golds on there as well. Just to yes. kind of, yeah, definitely. That's the only thing that's missing. Yeah. Um, but kind of going back a little bit, just back to the bases. Yes. Um, we've had buttercream. Uh, Precision Deluxe. Yes, it's like a PJ with a yeah, with all all the bits going on. Yeah, um, we've got uh, a couple of absolutely stunning limited edition um, Jaguar. Oh yeah, bases with uh, they play a Jaguar bases, but they've got um, they're limited edition because they got um, black hardware, so um, they got matching headstock and ebony board. Yeah, it's just a, it's like stealth machine. Yeah, the. Yeah, don't put a radar on don't, it. Waste oh, of time. Forget it. Waste of time. <laughs> covert, yeah, awesome. covert. They call it. It's the covert base. Awesome. We're well stocked on acoustic bases at the moment as well. Yeah. Um, some very, very well priced, uh, competitively priced Jaguar, uh, Jaguar Jackson bases. Yeah, the JS twos. Yeah, silly, silly, silly. Two hundred five, I think. Yeah, yeah, bonkers. And you know, they're a stylish base. You know, for people wanting to. Get away from the, you know, the shape that everyone else uses, which is a yeah. jazz or precision or or whatever. You know, it, it's mm. it's got a bit of rock about it, haven't it? Yes, it does. And also, you know, for that price as well, um, it's got a push pull, which I believe is, really? is like a pickup switch. Is a pickup switch between because it's got the PJ kind of yeah thing to it. Yeah, the volumes are push pull. So Whoa. I mean, you know, for two hundred quid, yeah, plus five pound, you know, it's it's great. And we yeah. got we got that in white and black. We've actually got the spectres. We've got a couple of nicer spectres yep. coming in and on five that, strings. our big Jackson list. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Jacksons, we are expecting yeah a lot. Uh, is there anything that's on the horizon? Sort of. We got the Caribbean. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> Mist or burst or it's yeah it's, it's something like that. But it, I think it's burst. I would say twist, but I know that's some sort of alcoholic thing. Caribbean twist. I, I, I thought it? that was like um one of those cheap ice lollies you got. Could be one of them as well. Yeah. Mm. Is that Caribbean <laughs> Calypso? I don't know. But um, yeah, the, the Jackson Wall is as bare as the Gretsch Wall was yes. about two weeks ago. But yeah. we know that one good delivery can um, rectify that. So that's that. But uh, going back onto the fenders, um, we've had some really lovely um, squires come in. So this wave mm. two of the, the paranormals. paranormals. Yeah. So we've had the Cyclones in and the Cabernet Tellies. This is and the bases and the bases, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the 
video for the Cyclones is up already. It's one of the very few videos we've actually had a chance to get in the room and do. Yeah. Uh, because we've been all three busy little musketeers. Um, so, yeah, so that whole section now looks amazing. The only thing we don't have are the Toronados, and that's because they are sold. Yeah. Um, I, we didn't know as well that the Paranormal series are actually limited. Uh, they're not classed as limited edition. No, they're not it's classed as limited basically edition. Basically, they're doing... And they're not even FSRs. No. You know, they, they're just... Apparently... Because we tried reordering the Baritan. That's right. Which was the first one to go. And No, it's the second one to go. But we tried reordering a Baritone, and they said, no, 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 they're all done with now. And we said, what? Yeah, it's uh, only been a week. Yeah. <laughs> and so we... Um, <laughs> and, and actually, you know, Baritones, they're a tough sell. Yeah. Really, you know, yeah. we've had Gretches in, we've had PRSs, PRS, yeah. and they've lasted a long time, here, you know, before people have picked up on them. But the Cabernita... Uh, Paranormal uh, baritone just had loads of interest in it, and they sounded wicked. They played well, mm-hmm. and they said, "No, you know, take that off your system. No, there's no more of those coming through." That's not to say that there won't be other colours coming in, but that one's done. Yeah, you know? and but I think that they they're leaving it open ended in case, just in case there is something that's kind of red hot that you know people want more and more of. That um, you know, they're not calling it a limited edition. They're kind of leaving it open like that. So yeah. Yeah, so that's. But they haven't. They, there isn't a bad one. No, you know. And uh, now that we've had that um, Japanese base in today, because um, I've mentioned that the um, the wood and, and the and the finish of the necks on the on the paranormals remind me of the Japanese guitars. Yeah. You can see exactly what I mean, can't you? Yeah, it's yeah, got that yeah. real anemic, um, yeah, really pale maple maple neck, and. Just, but the finish on them, you know, I, I, it feels like a different type of lacquer. It doesn't mm. feel anywhere near as sticky as the, um, like the classic vibes. No, that's right. Or even Ventiras. But there's just a really beautiful kind of, and and finish them, you know, they, they've finished superbly. But um, yeah, I do like I do like the Japanese, um, the stuff the Japanese factory does. Yeah, especially like the Strats and Tellys. They do some really really nice pieces. Yeah. So we've got coming in. Mm. Um, Hopefully next week, those three Japanese um, Stratocasters are they all Stratocasters? Or yeah, Santana? they were Strats, three Strats. Bizarre because there was no sort of marketing. I haven't no seen them anywhere. Or anything like that. No. So they uh, got, we got three different colours. They're kind of like they're almost like pastel colours, uh, quite a little bit. They look uh, beautiful. But, but they're they? HH. Hum- yeah, two humbucker. Is it a Floyd or just a tr- normal trim? I think it's a normal trim. But very kind of Charvelli, isn't it? Yeah, it's down that kind of route. There's no pick guard, no. Um, but they, they, these look, they look wicked. So are they the three coming together as well? Yes, they are. Yeah, that be, there we are. That's yeah. Tom's. Uh, Great. Yeah. Photo. Um, but they're uh, going to be they're going to be awesome. So just quickly moving on from um, adding to the paranormals, those um, bases that come in, we've had a couple of bases come in. Look at them, just say. Phenomenal, you know, yeah. looking bases outstanding. So, so we, uh, yeah, we had a little visit from Leighton uh, before things got locked down uh, from the music shop Neath, who is a bass player, and we had him cast his eye, and he was, uh, he said that as far as bases go, you know, these are yeah, what well, the paranormals and and actually the 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 classic vibes are doing as well. These new classic vibes, you know, they're knocking it out the park. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't sound like that. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just looking around this room, uh, Vox, we had, um, AC, uh, AC 10, AC 15, AC 30. Limited yeah, we edition, needed a bit of a restock of them, didn't we? We were, yeah, absolutely. Few, few had gone through. Um, which are all lovely. Um, Daria brought out a new, uh, range of straps. They did. The auto locks, which very clever, um, little design on those. Um, yeah, I think they're doing well for. I think they're doing well for Dadaru. We've sold a few, haven't we? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. For some reason, the midnight blue is just. Well, you apparently, can't keep them. The they spent a lot of money on market on um, market research with regards to these, and apparently, uh, across all sectors of of lifestyle, whether mm-hmm. it's kind of phones or clothing or whatever, these particular tones on these uh, these colours. Uh, the uh, the most popular 
colours um, <laughs> in Europe or something. So um, I mean, you can see you can look see at like, the, looking at the pink one there. That looks like mm. the rose gold on the back of a yeah, of like yeah. Um, you know, you can't dispute black. But no white. No white. Mm, no white. And you know, you know, to to speak honestly, you, you know that I think that this this first batch is you know obviously tone the water, you know, see what sells and yeah. all the rest of it. And the the locking mechanism itself is very very clever and very good. Mm -hmm. And at nineteen ninety nine a strap, they're worth it all day every day because by the time yeah. you get a decent set of strap locks, which are seventeen ninety nine starting from. And a decent strap, you know, you're looking close to the thirty quid. So yeah. they're phenomenal value for money. Even at twenty four ninety nine. Are they twenty four ninety nine? Oh, there you are then. So <laughs> still, still, still phenomenal value. Yeah. <laughs> well, they could be uh, uh, later on. We'll talk about how they could be nineteen ninety nine for you. But um, yeah, so I, I just feel that um, with the material that they've used and mm -hmm. the color choices, I just don't think that. You got to think about uh, forget who they're going on. You got to forget what is going on. So you know it's mm. going to be going on. You know, black sunburst or white guitar or Lake Placid Blue Fiesta Red sunburst. You know, like yeah. uh, you know, and for as beautiful as that pink strap is, yeah, as a color, yeah, I'm not sure that it will complement anything that this. Yeah, this anything is the, in the world. The, <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing, right? They've done market research on all the colours across all the sectors. That's fine. If you're buying a rug for your living room, mustard yellow is probably okay. But it put it next to a guitar. It's put it next to the most popular ten most popular guitar colours. But do you know what? I think that you know this conversation itself is sealing the very successful destiny of these straps because whenever we try to second guess something, exactly. we're completely wrong. And um you know, we're, you know, Acoustasonics, I made a call. It was completely wrong. And, you know, we, we kind of missed the boat on that, you know, mm -hmm. um, or on catch it rather. But, um, you know, just, you know, we speak what we think, don't we? You know, like, you know, there's no point saying we we love everything because... Yeah, it, the colours are nice colours. But absolutely. it's just, it, it would be difficult to put it next to, like, obviously, like the green, which I think is called moss. Uh you know, for our olive telly, that's probably quite a good call. It's quite close. You know, I'd I'd place a bet that you've got an item of clothing for every one of those colours. Me, I, I've seen you in sweatpants in that pink colour. I've got, I've definitely got a hoodie in that pink. Yeah, yeah, and a jumper in that pink. And don't, I don't think I've got anything that yellow, green, hundred percent. Yeah, and I've, everything else is black. Yeah, but yeah, you are right. You are, yeah, you are right. So only the yellow. I'll have to. I'll get something next time. Anyone sees me, I'll be in something mustard. <laughs> there we are. So going into the other room, uh, seems to be going on for a while. So we'll try and um, rush it on a bit. But um, we've uh, we've had the Fullerton ukuleles, Fender Telecaster looking ukuleles. Yeah. We had the butterscotch blonde one in, which went a couple of weeks ago. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what came in today? Black, black one. Black one. Nice. Yeah, it looks great. I think it, yeah, I think it's nicer than the other one. Yeah, Indeed. personally. So uh, you know that's um, that's come in and they're different. And I think that ukulele players now, you know, we've noticed from the ukulele shows that we've we've done is that they want something different. Yeah, they don't want just the run of the mill kind of, um, you know, just something with a nice top. You know, like the Eddie Finn peanut um, yeah. ones the and, the, and the moon and um, cigar box kind of ones as well. You know, they're all they outdo their friends. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, like where do you get that from? So the yes, yeah, so I think they're they're pretty cool. They're a little bit on the expensive side, maybe I don't know, but yeah. What are they? I think they're about hundred and fifty. Yeah, is it? Yeah, which is kind of st similar to their their Venice range. Then I know they've obviously got to construct these, haven't mm. they, from scratch? Because there's you know it's not just a generic. You shape also like you know paint. what you got to. Bear in mind with this one is that you know when they go into the factory saying right we've got a new ukulele to build they'll say fine you know and they'll look at 
the closest okay. template that they've yeah, got and then work exactly. on that with something like the um the Fullerton ones yeah it's a telecaster ukulele and they've got no mold for that no. you know so it, it's starting from scratch so yeah i can i can see that and it's got a good pickup system on it we tested that the other day um going into a little um black star um acoustic fly and sounded yeah, bang on really great. really good um uh acoustic wise we've had some faith in yeah um they uh, we've got a couple of blood moons on order, which um, we've been told that you know they're f- massively oversold, and we placed an order. I think it was back at the end of July. If we place an order, then uh, we'd get some definitely in October, ready for Christmas. But there's That's probably crazy. not going to be another delivery between October and, and December. Absolutely so crazy. Um, so we've got some of those that have come in. Um, yeah, you know, there's been activity, hasn't there? You know, it's yeah. been it's been good. You know, we're um, we need to get tachamines in. We need to get evasions in. Um, but tachamine is the same story. You know, we we look at the the stock availability, and mm. and you know, it's it's uh, it is sparse. But yeah. yeah, you are you know you are right, especially with this lead up. Now we'll just. But uh, get Fender was nice came in today. What was the that? Fender and oh, Newporter is it? Yeah, and it. I think it must be limited edition because all the new Newporters. And California series, the satin finish. Apart from the um, the limited edition ones, like we got the Fiesta Red, yeah, uh, Redondo, and the <laughs> and this one that came in today, which was the New Porter, which is like champagne, Cham- color. champagne. champagne. <laughs> but it's a nice gloss, and it looks it, it. Seeing satin guitars when you've been used to having gloss guitars for ages is a welcome thing, but because we've been dealing with the satin one for so long, the gloss ones coming through look absolutely stunning. I think. I like the satin ones because they don't reflect when you're taking pictures. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> makes his life much easier. <laughs> you said that, like, um, do you remember when Noel's house party? You know, used to do um, uh, wait till I get you home or whatever it was with the kids. You know, they used to <laughs> interview the kids. It did sound like a kid, sounded, didn't it? <laughs> it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I like melted yeah. cheese because it's warm and yeah. springy. I like the gummy bear. <laughs> You know, we're not encouraging him to talk when we take the mick out of the. Uh, yeah. yeah. So um, you've done well today. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> don't let us play off. <laughs> Should we talk a little bit about what's going on on in the outside world? Because um, yeah, if you want. there's first, you know, big bit of news is that Gamlin's are open until next April, I think. And we we mentioned mm-hmm. on the last podcast, actually, I think it was that. Um, really sad that you know they you know they were meant to have their final weekend i think it's the 28th of march and everyone was forced to close on the 23rd so things kind of you know fizzled out and really unfairly because you know they have been an instrumental part of the of the music scene in south wales and and beyond for 60 plus years you know and so it wasn't nice to just kind of fade away like that so anyway you know they they're, they've decided, well, you know, take advantage of some free rates and all the rest of it, you know, until April that they're um, opening up until then. So, so they're back up and functional. And you yeah. know, I think that a lot of the the kind of private stock or whatever you want to call it that um, they've accumulated over the 50, 60 years or so that um, they've just put onto a reverb store at the beginning of lockdown, they've decided to actually bring that into the shop. And I think a lot of that is there now. Did you pop yeah. in? Uh, when you went, yeah, I popped in before, yeah, oh, before lockdown. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, haven't, I haven't been, but you haven't been since. since. No, I went. I went past. I've been past since, but it was, um, it wasn't open. Uh, shutters were down. There's people in there doing bits and pieces, but yeah, it wasn't open to the public. Yeah, but yeah, they've got a lot of cool vintage stuff and you know, older pieces that are really worth a look. You know, if you if you collect yeah. or if you are interested in stuff like that. I watched a documentary on Sky Arts the other day about, um, it's all about the David Gilmore collection okay. being sold. Have you yeah. seen it? No. It's worth looking. If you've got um, no TV or Sky Arts, it's on the documentaries there. Mm. And it's, I think it's literally called Auction. And it just kind of, you know, follows the, um, um, you know, the bidding on all these things. And you know, like it's, um, yeah, it, 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 I've got nothing to say about it, except that it's well worth a, a, a watch. You know, it's phenomenal what yeah. some of these things have gone for. You know, it's, um, you know, just flight cases going for like 40, 50 grand. So, mm. yeah, this is old news. This is like a year old, I know. But it, it's there's a documentary on, um, or a little program about it. It's, it's good. 
Speaking of flight cases, we have got to say a thank you. Yes. For our new flight cases. Yes. yes. Um, Paul Evans, who's been, um, you know, we've he's been helping us out since um, day one, really. Um, uh, he's made flight cases for us for um, different things, hasn't he? I think he made some Diki amp flight cases for me. Right. Um, when we had the last of those through, mm. which would have been like 2014, 2015 or so. Um, and he's done some AC30 ones for us and for customers, and he's just an all-around lovely bloke. Um, he's been in touch a little bit recently and said that he had a couple of flight cases that just and know where to put them, didn't know what to do with them. And um, we've had them in the shop and they're different to all the other flight cases we've got. They're not yes. the kind of, um, the, they're not the typical roadie kind of ones. These are ultra high value um, aluminium uh, used for ultra expensive kind of camera and, and music right. equipment. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. And um, yeah, he said um, he'd rather us have use out of them than chucking them out. So, yeah. so we've already, the one is already set up and ready to go. It's a little, uh, pedal station it really adds some character to the shop doesn't it yeah you know like it's um as we said earlier you know we come in every day so we see you know the same thing and so we get bored of things customers come in and they say you know the shop's looking good norris and they always say nice things but it's good for us to keep it's, it's good for us to feel like that i think mm. that you know we need to keep um freshening things up because it means that when people come in they'll they'll always see something a bit um bit different and these flight cases really do add an extra kind of um yeah and he's given us full permission to to paint and spray or do whatever yeah. we want with them so tom is thinking of ideas and mm -hmm. you'll get uh get some stuff on there yeah should have us as kind of like the che Guevara kind of uh oh yeah tom or tom like stenciled style mm -hmm. like banksy style and that's fine because he's got no copyrights, because he doesn't tell anyone his name. That was in the news. <laughs> and just do like pictures, like template pictures of us, like looking off into the distance in like a, you know, I'm a revolutionary type thing. Yeah. We'll all wear uh, um, berries. Berries. Okay. Although <laughs> my berry might be like five inches <laughs> over my head at the moment, but yeah. Um, And I think that can conclude news, maybe. Yeah. Can we have some biscuits, please? Let's have some biscuits. Do it. Biscuit news! Biscuit news! So we mentioned Leighton a little bit earlier on. Honorary mention. Leighton popped over Lovely to, Leighton. to drop us uh, a guitar um, before all the local lockdowns happened. He had a shower just before he came here and his head looked immaculately clean. Immaculate. He... Um, you can tell by the way that he lays out his shop and just the way... That, a lot of bassists are like this. They, I think they got um, like a, a form of kind of OCD where things need to be right. You know, mm. and the image is a very um, important kind of thing yeah. to them. And he looked... He looked extremely clean. Yes. So Leighton popped over and brought us the first... Of this year's mince pies, we yeah. So they obviously are with the face masks can can attest to how well he smelled. But no, looking at him, I'd say nine out of ten at least. Yeah, and he brought us mince pies. And he brought so us mince pies. Round that up to a, a nice even ten. Yeah, uh, <laughs> taste the difference. I believe uh, there was the same taste the difference. Yeah. Taste the difference. And they were, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed mine. Yep, full of mints. Full of mints. I didn't try one yet. Didn't didn't you? No. And we say yet. Are there any left? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. What are you saying yet for? <laughs> they were gone. <clears throat> they were gone by the weekend. Chris, I had. <coughs> I definitely had one. Right. I might have had two. I give one to. I, I give one to Paul. Under oh, that's where that's because. Um, I went to. <laughs> I went to make him a cup of coffee. Realised that we didn't have any coffee, didn't have any coffee, mate, and the only milk that was left is that experiment that you've got on the on the windowsill out there, yeah. which looks like it's gonna just explode at any point. Yeah, I've had to take it out the shop now. It's, oh, you have it's, taken it's, out the it's shop. extreme, yeah, it's extreme, but it's on the wall at the front, so it, 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 uh, yeah, it's looking. Uh, it, it's separated to 
you know, it's like water and I, whatever. It could, is it? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. It, uh, could some way. Could some way. way. Yeah. So is that, could I have that and then get all muscly? Is that if I have the yes. way? Yes. Yeah, go on. You can make some go on, cheese. It. can make some cheese. Is it, is it, where is it? Oh, it's out the front. It's ready to go in the bin. What? So, so when you say out the front, way out the front. Is it like right on... in the sun? <laughs> <laughs> but but is it um, is it on the wall where somebody might just kind of pick it up and throw it at the yeah door or do yeah. a Ron Burgundy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, it's there. Um, yeah, so they were um, firm crust. <clears throat> were they nice? Yeah, they were nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was really, off on really Saturday. Nice. I was and off on Saturday. What? I have no, I have absolutely no um, guilt, uh, given that I can't remember what it was. The Jaffa U- cakes. The U two finished off between you. Jaffa cakes. There you go. And I didn't get, I didn't get a look in. Problem was all. for the for for you, dear listener. The problem was I offered Andrew Jaffa cakes, and I was busy. <laughs> and you was talking to a customer. Yeah. And I turned round and I said, to, I said, I must have said something to Tom. But as I said it, I dropped the Jaffa cakes and they went on the floor. So what am I supposed to do? I'm not just going to say nothing and give you furry Jaffa cakes, am I? So I had them. They were a twin tower, so that accounted for one of the, the 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 yeah, packs. two two cakes of a tower. Hmm, that yeah. is true. So you brought us also Sainsbury's taste the difference. Sainsbury's is just our. Local. I got some granola slices. I just I, I'm thinking we need to get a little bit of kind of normality back to life, and we used to have granola slices every so often with a, a morning kind of cup of tea or coffee mm-hmm. and it used to be a nice kind of break in the morning to say right okay what we got to do moving forward and all that and yeah. a granola slice seems to it's a statement of intent it's uh yeah. what like i want to be healthy yeah <laughs> don't worry about all the butter that went into this yeah focus on the fruit um so help yourselves boys Thank i'm you actually much. gonna keep mine until tomorrow i might tomorrow, do that but tom, but tom is the buds uh, I don't tom is our food. But I have noticed there's Michelin something else star. on the biscuit news but, thing, yeah, which so, I will indulge in. Okay, so uh, I popped the post up earlier today, and I thought I would grab something. So out the back... They got they a fantastic are, selection of confectionery up in that. Um, the little Tesco. Oh, no, no, no. I was thinking um, like Boogan's store, you know, the, the um, where the post office is. Oh, we'll have to have a look in there. Mm. Uh, no, these are just um, Tesco's. They are Oreos, but they are... White chocolate dipped Oreos. Yeah, I've had these many times. So they are there. So basically, I bought them. Tom said, oh, I don't really like Oreos. I don't like white chocolate. I was like, well, that's, that's fine. They're not for you. Don't have they? them. Yeah. But then he's put on our little itinerary. Oreos, are they actually any good? Well, I can answer that. Yes. Is, yes. Yeah. But but don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> just, just leave it. You have your slice. Just, yeah. Just fill your face with your, your, your slice. and. Um... So you actually really like Oreos? I yeah. Really, I love Oreos. I could do a pack of the originals. Yeah. Yeah, Not as much as Jaffa, like Jaffa cakes is like I mean, they crack. are just, to me, they're just chocolate biscuit with a bit of cream in. No, yeah, no but they don't taste like chocolate and it doesn't and taste like cream. No better than a bourbon. But, nah. Oh, da, 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 nah. 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 And uh, also... Do you see McDonald's doing a bourbon McFlurry? No. No. The... Good idea. The other thing about it is that um, you get the right... Um, you, you just get the normal Oreos and the temperature's absolutely right. You can peel off the, um, like, the... Vin- is it vanilla kind of centre? Well, if they're like cool, cold enough, cool enough. Yeah, yeah. You know, but but they can't be too cold, otherwise it'll, it'll be too break, brittle. Yeah. You can peel it off. Oof, and you can tried, do it. Same with like a Jaffa cake where you can kind of tongue the chocolate off the top and I've then seen kind you of... eat a Jaffa cake. It's disgusting. <laughs> well, Oreos are much, much worse. Um, because what I do with the biscuit, I suck it till it's soft. <laughs> and the... Uh, but it's very difficult to do it with the covered ones. But the covered yeah, these ones are, are amazing. Tricky. You don't get them much in the UK, but you go abroad, anywhere abroad, and they do the um, the chocolate um, covered ones. So it's milk chocolate covered Oreos mm, like nice. these are. They they do the white ones over here. I think maybe Asda sometimes. Abroad or just anywhere that isn't like 50 miles near here. Kind of yeah. Thing. Like foreign Tesco. But that was the thing. They were slow on because they do like... Um, the mint ones, the orange ones, birthday cake flavor. Like, they were slow on them. Like, yeah. you, the UK there, was some... just like, no, we'll just have the originals. It's because we've got good biscuits already. Mm. And, well, like, here we go then. Uh, a mint Oreo, you know, and a Viscount, where's the, you know, is there much of a difference? I prefer Viscounts because we had the mint ones the other day, didn't we? Mm. Viscount. I, I don't do... Mint is one of those um, flavors that I 
only doing very kind of selective kind of occasions. Yeah. So I won't do um, a mint Oreo. I won't do a mint Viscount. Uh, I will do a uh, an after eight. Oh, and after eight. I'll <laughs> and uh, I won't. Every I won't night. do. I won't do mint Viennetta. Oh, okay. Um. You know, You're a madman. Uh, you what? Sorry. Mint, fin- mint Viennetta is the greatest. No, no, mint uh, like mint it, um, ice cream, like mint chocolate chip no, ice cream. I'm, I'm not. Oh, it's the best mm. ice cream. Mm. But um, and it's not to say I won't enjoy it. I'll just be disappointed that I've made that choice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, we're not going to do like a feature for this. No, I think it's, it's more of a catch up. Yeah. It's a reacquainting of of the of the gang of us to you. What we can do is tell you a little bit about the website that's that's forthcoming. Yes, and let's do that. Make you an offer you can't refuse. Or you shouldn't refuse. But so basically what we're gonna do it's by the time this goes out, it's gonna be Thursday, which is the twenty fourth of September. So what we're gonna do is offer you guys um podcast listeners that download this in time and listen to it in time uh, an opportunity to test the website out for us please point out any mistakes and please. you know there are going to be mistakes because we we've been working non-stop on this and it's a big website because we've got you know 8000 9000 items on there plus so um basically it's going to be like a private launch to um test the the, the Rustin's Tom. He's not. He's not been able to Sorry. resist the uh, the Oreos. So, um, <laughs> but don't eat it just to slander it. Don't go that's, into that with an expectation it. of being like, I know I'm going to rubbish this already. <laughs> Open mind, please. So, um, what we're going to do? Um, we'll give you a web address. Yes. No. How should we do this? Do I think. We, no, I think so. Should we give the web address, or should we ask them to? Email us directly. We can send a link and an individual discount code. That's probably the best thing to do, I think. So, right, if you get in touch with us... Yeah, that's a good idea. ...on Facebook, on email, give us a call, pop in the shop, whatever you want to do, um, drop us a message, say you listen to the podcast, and what we'll do, we'll send you through a link to the website, and we'll give you a £5 voucher to use on the website, on whatever you want. Um... And basically, what we want you to do is to use the website, look through it, use the, look at the features, have a look at the menus, and yeah. see what the what the navigational experience is. You know whether you like this, whether you dislike that. We know there are things like we know there's, for example, on the drop down menu at the top, you know, there's like a, a shop, um, the word shop where you hover over it and you've got this drop down menu. We know that we need to find some way of distancing the. Yeah, there's the a couple of categories that are a bit close titles together. From the actual mm. on um, on list. mobile, it's fine because it does it a different menu there style. You are. But so, yeah, if you're on desktop, you'll see that and you'll know. So basically, and um, what we'd like you to do is test out the website. We'll give you a fiver to um, contribute towards um, uh, whatever you'd like to purchase. So you know, it can be fivers worth of free picks, or if you want um, a cable, it can be a fiver off a cable. Whatever oh, you want. Like an artist package twenty um, four. It's a, you have a fiver off that <laughs> brings it down to four four nine zero. Yeah. So uh, um, basically, it'll be a, a fiver for doing us a favour. Um, and fiver for a favour. Yeah. There we are. Yeah. That's not rude, is it? No. 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 So yeah, your own individual discount code works because then yeah, you can't. You can't go on Reddit and pass it on to <laughs> all your friends. 10,000 other people that yeah. cost us 10 times 10, 5, 5, 5 pounds. 50,000. <laughs> I don't think it'd be 500,000. No, no, no. 10. Yeah, 50,000, of course. Yeah, of course, I knew that. Um, you can edit that bit out. <laughs> we'll, um, so, uh, yeah, on any of those channels, and we're only going to do it for a limited time, so we um Podcast will go up hopefully um, Thursday afternoon. Yeah. Basically, you've got a week to get in touch with us. We'll give you um, an individual code. We'll give you the address to go to because the address that the website's up now, uh, that is on now, isn't astrings.co.uk for obvious reasons because we got our current website that's on there. But we got some other, op- we got some wicked options on there now. So w- the things that we felt we were lacking before are now rectified, I think, I hope. So things like Klarna, which has proven to be phenomenally popular with us, you know, so if you want to buy 80 quid's worth of gear 
and you haven't got 80 quid, but you'd like to pay for it over three months or you want to offset it by 30 days, whatever, you can apply for a Klarna um, uh, agreement online uh, on uh, the checkout uh, process. So you can do that. Um, we now take American Express. We do all these other different bits and bobs. So you can... Um, you can test out the um, the coupon or the voucher function. Yeah. So if the five pound doesn't work, you can tell us about that. Yes, please. Um, and you know, there's little things that we need to kind of uh, work on, and there's the things that we'll have forgotten about, and it's always going to be a work in progress, as websites are. But um, you'd be really doing us a favour by checking out the blogs, making comments, reviewing items, all this, these different things. If you can go through the website and give us your honest opinions with regards to what you think and little things that we can do to help improve it yes um be nice <laughs> we've got very fragile um uh egos yeah and try it make sure you try it on uh, you know yeah. your phones tablets desktop anything you know different size screens if, if you can so tell us that, that you've works. used it on safari on chrome on firefox yep, or, or whatever point. um all these different things and you know if there are any bugs or anything that any things that don't work well then you know we've got um plenty of time I see plenty of time. You're giving us a heads up to kind of get this um, working, um, ready for launch. Yeah. So um, help us, and um, we'll give you a fiver. Yeah. As a thank you. Not cash. No. No credit. Credit in it. Um. So that's that. So have we got a Thomas top five this week? We have. Okay. I basically just thought of it just oh. before we started. Okay. So. I, this is just the five I could think of. Wicked. So hopefully you can think of some more. Okay. And before Tom's top five, Tom did, did just eat those Oreos while we were talking about the website. And the... Actually quite good. Yeah. 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 Tom's top five. <laughs> top, top five. Top, 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 uh, top five artists that wear masks. Okay. There's uh, a few that spring to mind straight away. So I just do my five. Yeah. And they all, they're all aware of their breath. Just remember that. <laughs> yeah. Can you... <laughs> Doesn't matter how cool they are. Yeah. Uh, number five, Slipknot. Slipknot, of course. They're, they're the ones that came to mind first. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, is this including kind of face paints as well? Ah, I didn't think of that. Kiss, of course. Yeah. Because I guess Alice Cooper. Yeah. Sorry, we're ruining it. So, yeah, Slipknot. <laughs> number four, um, Mannix. That one time. <laughs> top of the pops, wasn't it? Probably the coolest top of the pops performance ever. Mm. And it had the. Apparently, it had over 10,000 complaints. It had one of the highest ever um, complaint um, logs of anything the BBC's ever done or something. Certainly top of the pops. But, mm. um, yeah, James had the... Um, it was quite a delicate time in his, in kind of Anglo-Irish uh, relations, yeah. I think. And um, uh, uh, James went on. They did Faster, which was like a, a amazing song from the Holy Bible with uh, Balaclava on, with James on it. And uh, just uh, as a little kind of... <laughs> I don't know if we've uh, mentioned this yet, but if you remember 2018 when we had the big snow out there, remember the day that I split my trousers? <laughs> yeah. Right? Um, James had messaged us um, a couple of... Uh, a message a, a day or two before saying, are you about in the shop on Thursday morning? I might pop down. And it was going to be the first time he'd popped into the shop where the it is shop, now. yeah. And I said, yeah. I said, oh, boy, it's wicked. I think James is coming, which is why I was that mortified when I did split my trousers. I was doing a jump squat. So I just wanted, you know, anyway. Um, I told my, I mentioned it to my brother, and my brother <laughs> popped into the shop and said, um, is James here? And I said, no, nah, I think the snow stopped him from coming in. And he said, oh, well, all this is for nothing. And he lifted his, <laughs> he lifted his top, <laughs> and underneath, uh, he'd written in, um, in pen on his chest. Welcome, James. <laughs> As if it was like a UFO landing. Yeah. Welcome to Earth. Like I know. And obviously he wasn't gonna show him that, you know, he just did it to kind of mortify me and it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. It. Yeah. Brilliant. Anyway, sorry, sir. Maddox that one's on um top of the pops, yeah. Number three, Daft Punk. Of yeah. course. Yeah, nobody knows what they it's it's the perfect thing, isn't it? You know, you can walk down, you know, um, you know the rue, <laughs> yeah, as they do, um, with you know without a mask on and yeah, you know, yeah, brilliant. And they actually set you know they they started a trend, especially in that 
that music scene because you've got like Marshmallow now and you've got Dead Mouse and they're all kind of like these like helmet wear you know these right. big mask helmet Dead Mouse wearers. that kind of robotic kind of square thing the, the um like he looks like something from like the um you know from play school <laughs> so you've got the one so, really so Dead Mouse is like a Dead Mouse is um like Mickey Mouse, it's like oh, a bit, but it's all them. like they, a, a marshmallow. It's like a white square with like black X's for eyes. Oh, it looks like a marshmallow on his head. You, uh, number two, I was kind of running out of <laughs> <laughs> the Phantom of the Opera. Is in your mind. Yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> we've, we've not, got, not we've, really a band, but we've, yeah. <laughs> we've got a local <laughs> Phantom, haven't we? Peter, yeah. Peter Carey is a Welsh Phantom of the Opera Phantom oh, okay. that was on uh, the West End. Yeah, yeah. I don't know where, Do, uh, but he is local. Um, what's that song? Um, uh, da, 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 yeah, da, da, da. that's a great song to sing in the shower, starting off in full voice and then going into falsetto, because it's it's got yeah yeah you know music of the night is it music of the night mm. yeah, yeah. Brilliant. number one pussy riot of course yeah ah. yeah yeah the the Irish uh, the Irish the the Russian, Russian punk yeah. um. Uh, anarchists. Yeah. Yeah. I've not actually seen those masks. But, I think um, they're balaclavas. Balaclavas, like it's pink, pink, yeah. Ones. But it makes sense. You know, mm. you wouldn't want to be... They they have been caught and kind of put in prison a few times, though, haven't they? Yeah. Hmm. Can you think of any more? Um, well, I was going to say, if you're looking at face paints, you know, Kiss would be the obvious one and Alice Cooper. Um, uh, yeah, there's a lot in that kind of metal-y scene. Yeah. You know, um, what, who were the ones that Wombles? won? Yeah. Who the, what were the ones that won Eurovision? They were like a oh, Danish yeah. or Swedish. Um, go, uh, yeah. They were all in like uh, What do they call them? Um, how about um, that um, German band that were meant to be playing in um, Cardiff? In the stadium. This oh, year. Rammstein. Yeah, didn't no, they? they? No, oh. they don't wear masks. Um, they might have been at a point where one of them might have worn like something, yes. but yeah, they don't yeah. wear masks. Marilyn yeah. Manson's makeup, isn't he? Um, oh, John Five. Yeah, John Five messes around with masks. Yeah, yeah, he does. Um, who else? And makeup, actually, both. Yeah, yeah, more makeup than. Um, Buckethead. Buckethead. Um, Frank. Sidebottom. Frank Sidebottom. I was just thinking that. No, but was he a musical? Did he? Yeah, song? I don't think he had many top ten hits. But <laughs> no. Um, yeah. If you think of any, comment, and we'll reward you with a five pound gift voucher to use on the A strings beta website mm. before thirtieth of September. Good one, Tom. That's you didn't cool. have long to put that one together, and. Um, <laughs> Have an Oreo. <laughs> <laughs> On me. Social media comment of the week. Social media comment of the week. Well, this Here is we social media comment of the quarter, really, because it's been um, three months and there's been a lot of there's been a lot of commenting on. Hmm. On I, I did only scroll through. Uh... And we tend, 20. <laughs> yeah, when we tend to only go on the YouTube ones, don't we? You know, because. The majority of the Instagram and uh, Facebook ones are quite positive towards it. So <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. yeah. YouTube's where the gold is, and the... mm. but there hasn't been. I mean, I don't read them. Tom goes through them daily, mm. but there's not a lot of. No, neg- we had another reptile one, I think, the other day, didn't we? Oh, good, 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 yeah, good, good. good. So, um, social media comment of the week. Ho Hezu Gomez commented. Great video, Chris Martin. Hey, it's a classic. With regards to similarities between you and Chris Martin, what his eyes I, are quite what, far apart. What hair did I have in the video? Um, Is it ten times the show? Can't remember. Yeah, it, it, it might be. One of your haircuts. Yeah. One of them. Hey, Chris Martin, you know, he's, he got Gwyneth Paltrow, didn't he? Hmm. So it can't be all bad. And Do another one. Walter Seegers commented. Too bad this player has no soul. Uh, which I don't accept because he misspells the word too. too so yeah. too bad. Yeah. So he, it's as though he's talking to something somebody called too bad. 
Or no, somebody called Bad. Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> Too bad. This player has no soul. If it's in reference to the tattoos, which we probably think it would be, wouldn't it? I don't care. But if he's saying that my playing has no soul, then I'd be like, oh, don't like that. I want to work on that. Hmm. So, I, yeah. I think he probably is talking about the plane. <laughs> well, what does Walter know? What does Walter know? And well, he, hmm. I, to be fair, you know, um, grammar and spelling wasn't that important in his family circle. I don't think, given the fact that he spelled his the name Walter with an O. Mm. So you know, if you're going to be that careless with um your kid's spell and you can't expect him to pay too much attention to no. things. So that ended things on a high, didn't it? Oh yeah. Mm. I've actually quite enjoyed this. It was good. Mm. It's been nice to reacquaint um with you, dear listener. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the second year or the third year? We started them early last year, didn't we? I yeah, it we was. Think... It was early twenty nineteen because it was just before all the, the unpleasantness. The mm. Yeah. Facebook stuff. So yeah, but um, we've got uh, it, we will do a, a podcast certainly um, in October because we've got um, there's a big launch going on with our biggest supplier, which we're embargoed. We're not allowed to talk about yet, but um, there's going to be a lot of a being that we can do. Yeah, which we obviously we're going to do. <laughs> yeah. on... it's Boss and it's an AB pedal. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, you know there's. Um, we're going to be doing, you know, on the date of launch, whereby we can um, talk, talk about, about these it. things. We're going to have a multi-channeled kind of attack on Assault. the world with regards to what be... we're um, uh, with regards to us stocking the gear. Yes. So expect something on podcast because I think, especially when it comes to the sound of these things, podcast where is gonna probably going to be the best medium to to get people to you know when you're doing a YouTube channel. People are looking, you know, I watch YouTube on my phone or through my laptop speakers. You know, yeah. you haven't got a good audio experience. So I think um, podcast is probably the best medium for us to uh, look at those. Mm-hmm. So um, yes. a launch date is something like the 13th of October. It is so, the 13th, yeah. Yeah, is, so, yeah. Um, you know, we're only, you know, two, three weeks. We're going to be getting product beforehand. So we're only going to be a couple of weeks away from being able to do that. So, um very latest, we're going to be a couple of weeks into October when you're going to get your next podcast, but maybe something sooner. Mm. It's going to be the A-Strings Traforest kind of seventh birthday next week. Mm. Um, you, well, I want to say usually, a lot of the time, we seem to organise events to kind of coincide with um, to coincide with that. Yeah. Obviously, nothing's going to be going on next week, so maybe we'll work out some kind of Instagram live where we can do a couple of giveaways. Maybe we can do tie in the uh, coffee clubs with our birthday and yeah. Um, like I say, we we can't do competitions or give things away on Facebook. No, so no. we'll there'll be stuff going on next week where we'll yeah. maybe be able to do a yeah. A we'll give away and out, yeah. we're getting dangerously close to be able to give away the Jackson as well. Yes. Um, Tom's been concentrating on the Instagram channel quite a bit. Um, with regards to trying to raise the. A subscribership and uh, it seems to be working so hopefully i'd say probably in the next couple of months certainly by christmas we're gonna be able to do that so if we um give that a concerted um some um focused effort follow us on the social media please um get in touch with us for a discount code yes and thanks for listening just for something different just to play out i'm going to put a clip of the cyclones which is the latest video we did um, so here's a little audio clip of that. But before we go, I've been Andrew. I've been Adam. I've been Tom. We'll see you for episode 35 very, very soon. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.